Hi everyone, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Dawn. I'm a 53 year old woman here in the mature beauty community and I hope you're all having a great week. I'm having a really good week and it's Friday. So, you know, it's the best day of the week other than Saturday. <laughs> so um, I'm in a really good mood. I love Fridays. We had a little bit of a stressful week. I had a bit of a health scare with my eldest daughter earlier in the week and it had me really worried for a few days, but she had a test done and everything is fine with her. So I'm breathing a sigh of relief and I'm just kind of reflecting on how much sweeter sweet times are after you've gone through something a little bit bitter. You know, I had a few really stressful days and, you know, I was nervous and talking to my daughter a lot and talking to my husband a lot just because she had just she's 24 and I don't know if I should share her business on YouTube. So um, it all ended up being okay, but um, I'm breathing a big sigh of relief. And then I found out today, my younger daughter, Paulina is coming home for the weekend. And if you watch me, you know, I'm always so excited to have my daughters home. They're my two eldest, 21 and 24, and they're both out of the house. And um, one is still in college and my 24 year old is out of college. And then I'm living here with my two high school sons and my husband so there's a lot of testosterone in our house and it's always nice to have some feminine company so I'm so excited that my daughter is going to be here with me so we're going to go to Trader Joe's and we're going to cook and we're going to eat outside we have just a very low-key weekend planned so I hope you have some fun plans for this weekend I hope whatever you do it's peaceful healthy and relaxing I thought that today I would talk to you about a trend on TikTok. It's a trend that started about six to eight months ago. You can find millions of YouTube videos on it and it's the clean girl aesthetic. I'm sure you've heard of it. If you haven't heard of it, just Google clean girl aesthetic and you'll be bombarded with more information than you ever wanted to know about it. But I realize, and I think if you're older like I am, that this is not anything new. It's just a trend that's been around for decades and it's repackaged for the younger generation and it's got a new label slapped on it and it's probably a ploy to sell us a lot of new things. But if you're older like I am, again, <laughs> you know that you don't need to buy a lot of new things to achieve this aesthetic. What you have at home in your wardrobe, your skincare and your makeup is sufficient. What it really boils down to is beauty minimalism. Looking polished and put together like I just woke up this way. You know, you, you don't look like you've put a lot of effort into your appearance, yet you do appear polished and put together. My daughter used to call me when I used to work this trend a lot because if you know me, <laughs> this is my style. I'm here for this because this is me every day. I just love this clean girl, minimalistic aesthetic. I like a natural approach to makeup. I like a minimalistic approach to skincare and diet and wardrobe. And so I'm here for it. This is got my name written all over it. My daughter used to call me Fancy Organic Mama when she was in middle school because there were the moms who wore their athleisure, but they didn't really wear any makeup or they might not color their hair and have, you know, just be a little, look a little bit disheveled. So what this really is, is that look, but polished. So you've got your athleisure on or jeans and a cute white tank top or crop top if you're younger and like to show your tummy um, or older and like to show your tummy. But your hair is very simply styled and you've got minimal makeup on just to accentuate your natural features and your beauty. And it doesn't look like you've put any effort forth to look that way. <laughs> and so, um, it does take effort to look that way. So they of course have celebrities that they put in front of you to try to have you emulate or purchase the items that they have to create this aesthetic. And the names I keep seeing over and over are Selena Gomez and the Hadid sisters, Gigi and Bella. And the only reason I know who they are is because they come up all the time in news articles and things like that. I guess they're models and what younger girls might aspire to look like. <laughs> but there are some older women, like Jennifer Lopez is a name that's come up, but I also have some other celebrities that 
have this sort of look, but they're older. And I think it's important for those of us who are older to look to women who are our age, right? Um, so one is Paulina Periscova. She's on Instagram. She's an 80s model and she has a very, I don't think she has cosmetic surgery, but if she has, you wouldn't be able to tell it. And that's important. So like Paulina Periscova, I think of Susan Sarandon, um, let me think. Oh, maybe Lauren Hutton, the model from the 70s, these older women who have this sort of elegance and put together way about them that seems effortless, right? A couple of women that I hate to pick on or say their names, but like some of the women that you would probably not look to for this style would be like Goldie Hawn or Melanie Griffith or women who have that trend that we are just coming out of where they have very inflated lips and a lot of filler and a lot of cosmetic surgery, surgery that's very obvious. So that's who you would not aspire to if you are trying to achieve this so look. We have seen over the past couple of years, some brands pop up that are incredibly minimalistic and they help you achieve that out the door. I just woke up like this look. And a couple of the brands would be Glossier. And that is a brand that I absolutely love. I've tried so many of their products and I really like pretty much everything I've tried. And Glossier is going to start being sold at Sephora, where previously you could only purchase Glossier on the Glossier website, or I believe in self-standing stores on the West Coast. They might be on the East Coast too, but I think it's mostly a West Coast thing. I could be wrong, but they're going to be in Sephora. So you can purchase some of their products there when they finally get there. And I'm not sure what the date is on that, but they're pretty affordable and minimalistic. Another brand is Merit. And Merit is another minimalistic brand where you just need a few products to achieve a very, I just woke up like this look and get out the door. I do feel that Merit is a little bit of a higher, more luxury price point. Um, Bobby Brown's new range Jones Road Beauty would be another one. Let me think. Hmm. I'm sure there's others, but these brands have been cropping up and people have been all over it. And I really like the simplicity of these brands as well. In the makeup world, they've definitely been showing their presence. And I can't talk about clean girl aesthetic makeup without mentioning skincare. The goal is to have your skin look plush and juicy and nourished. And I have been following this kind of trend for like the past almost a year now. Last winter, I started purchasing very simplistic skincare and I'm going to be repurchasing those same products this winter. And basically they're just more emollient and richer products than what I use in the summer months where it's more humid here in the Midwest. And I already have a little bit of oily skin, so I don't need quite as much hydration and moisture. So over the summer months, I've just been like addicted to hyaluronic acid serums. I like the Vichy, Vichy 89 and the La Roche-Posay B5, and I love the thermal water. And I've just been using a retinaldehyde on my skin rather than a Retin-A because I don't want my skin to look dry, patchy, or peeling. And my skin has never been better. So I don't know if I will ever go back to what I used to do to my skin, which was always had it in a state of peeling and shedding skin. And I, I, I won't go back to that. I just want my skin to look good every day. I don't want to be doing all these little peels on myself and all these things to my skin so that 20 years from now, my skin might still look good because I might not make it 20 years from now. I want to look good today. So. I have been following this very minimalistic approach to skincare. It doesn't really matter what kinds of products you use, but the goal is to use skincare that is very nourishing and hydrating and is close to achieving sort of that Korean glass skin look that you can achieve. And so that's really important for this aesthetic. The next thing would be your hair. 
to have your hair look as healthy as it can be. If you're an older woman and you have gray hair, that's fine. Just keep your hair healthy. If you're trying to get rid of the dye and you have some silver threaded through your hair, that doesn't matter either. Just keep your hair healthy. That's the key. Keep your ends trimmed. You don't want anything to look too dried out. And it isn't going to be like all those layered hairstyles. Of course, those are all still on trend too. But for this particular aesthetic, having your hair more of a blunt style so that you can easily pull it back in a simple ponytail and I just have like an ouchless goodie elastic and that was actually listed on the list of things to purchase for the clean girl aesthetic. I already had them but just a very simple twist, nothing fussy and another thing would be claw clips like these. I have really thick hair and it's getting longer so I need a, a, a bigger clip but um, definitely in the 90s, we all wear our hair like this. You know, you'd put your hair up in your claw clip and, you know, it was out of your way. So the claw clip is back or just having your hair down and part of it gently pulled back in a claw clip. But also accentuating, and this is something I don't do because I do have bangs. And what the clean girl aesthetic is having the middle part your hair very very shiny and kind of pulled back with some pomade to keep all the little hairs that are, might be sticking out nice and flat and shiny and that's really on trend right now whether you then take your hair and put it in a, a bun or a claw clip or a ponytail you know just keeping it very minimalistic and out of the way but clean and polished and um you know there's products you can use of course to create more shine in your hair and things like that and i won't go into that because i try to keep my hair really really healthy so that i don't need to use any product on my hair so i'm not really the expert on hair products the next part of the aesthetic would be your jewelry and jewelry is very minimalistic just like some gold stud earrings or silver stud or rose gold whatever you like simple like stud earrings or a little hoops, even smaller than these, but these are the size I had. So I put them in today just to kind of share with you how this aesthetic would look. And um, a simple necklace, maybe just a chain with maybe a pendant, but nothing large or like a statement piece. And I'm not saying that that's bad, but that just isn't part of what this aesthetic is. You know, everything is very simple. A couple of brands that come to mind would be Madewell or Everlane. There's a lot of other brands, <clears throat> but their brand is very simplistic, nothing showy, just a simple style. And um, yeah, you know, you don't have to own those brands, but if you peruse their catalogs, you'll get an idea of what your fashion would look like if you were trying to follow this aesthetic because they are all about that. Another part of this aesthetic is your fragrance and what they recommend, they, the powers that be, recommend having just a soft floral fragrance or if you like warm vanilla fragrances or something a little bit spicy but light fragrance that doesn't enter the room before you do. Just something soft and preferably something that's more of like a signature scent for you. And when I say signature scent, I think of a scent that I wear all the time, no matter what. It's always in my collection. But wearing a scent for like a season too could be like your signature scent, like your summer scent, and then you could switch it for fall and winter. And I do do that. Um, I have been using some of the same scents very loyally for years and years. And one is the Ginger Essence from Origins. This has been a favorite of mine for a very long time. Ever since the beginning of the 90s when I met my husband, I used to wear this all the time. And I've been wearing it again. I got through this whole bottle. Well, not this whole bottle. This much of the bottle this summer. 
<clears throat> and at nighttime, I like to wear cocoa from Chanel, the original cocoa. So that would be like my date night scent. I sort of like unisex scents that are um, more on the spicy or gourmand foody type smells. But I do have one floral that I absolutely love and it's La Vie Espelle from Lancome. And that is like my signature floral. So I do wear that a lot of times during the daytime. But having just a few scents that represent you is good because then people will think of you when they smell them and you're not changing it up all the time. And again, being minimalistic, you don't need to have like 10 bottles of perfume on your vanity, you just have two or three. And it's again, pretty minimalistic. So I just went over the main identifiers of this aesthetic, but really, like I said, what it boils down to is clean, polished, and minimalistic. And I hope it sticks around because I think a lot of us already have figured that out, that we like to have more of a minimalistic aesthetic. Um, if you have like a bohemian style with a big statement necklace or rings and hair, you know, you don't need to change your style to follow a trend. And I would advise you not to because we're all individual. And we shouldn't give up our individuality to follow a trend, especially if it's not us. But this particular trend does seem to be right up my street. So I was here for it and I thought I'd make this video. So yeah, that's what this trend is mainly about, looking polished, simple. I just woke up this way and I'm um, really just embracing a more minimalistic look. So now I'm just going to show you how I achieved this sort of clean girl look, which is a very typical everyday look for me. And I'm going to be using just one palette. It's an oldie, but a goodie, and you can still get it. That's the best part. Not that I think you should go out and buy anything. You probably have already a lot of items in your collection that would work, but I'm going to show you one palette that I love for this aesthetic. And um, I am going to come on with my foundation already finished and my brows on because I want to save time. What I use today is the Bye Bye Foundation, and this is It Cosmetics. Um, tinted moisturizer, but it does give you a little more coverage than a tinted moisturizer. It's more of like a lightweight foundation, but it does have a high SPF of 50 in it, which I really like. And um, another thing for the aesthetic is having sort of fluffy brows. And I don't really have fluffy brows because I plucked them in the 90s. But if you do, just work them. All you need is a little pomade, maybe a little brow pencil to, you know, fill them in a little bit. So those Instagram brows that we've all been looking at for the past five or six years are not on trend anymore. Now you want the fluffy, more natural brows. So having said all that, I'm just gonna jump in and do the voice over and get ready. I'm using the Tarte Clay Play 2 palette. It's a palette of cool, neutral, and warm tones. It includes a bronzer, a blush that's in a beautiful pink shade, and a highlighter. I'm going in with the center shades, which are the most neutral of the bunch. Now I'm taking the taupey shade and putting that in my crease and in the outer edge of my eye just to create some definition, but it definitely looks natural and neutral when it's on. Just kind of extending that in the outer corner a little bit, adding some definition. Now I'm taking a shimmer, and it's a neutral shimmer, and I'm just putting a wash of that over everything. Now I'm taking the shimmer and the neutral taupe and brushing that just beneath my lower lash line. Now I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury concealer, and I'm just cleaning up. I'm not applying a lot of concealer. I'm just cleaning up around the edges. Now I'm taking this bronzy brown eyeliner and I'm just doing my tight line, my upper lash line with it. And now I'm going to just add a little flick of it in the outer corner, not quite a wing. Now I'm taking the Calorie Beautiful Tubing Mascara and putting on a nice coat of that. It really creates a nice wispy lash. Now I'm using the pink blush. This is the 12 hour Amazonian clay blush and it's such a pretty pink shade and I'm just 
using that and my cheeks and sort of like as my bronzer. Now I'm going in with some highlighter and brushing that over it just for that really pretty glow. I didn't use a bronzer today. I just used the blush to add that rosy glow to my skin with the highlighter over it. I think it's really pretty for this look. Now I'm taking a Sephora brand liquid lippy and I think it's in the shade Romantic Rose. I'll link it below. These are really nice. They're long wearing and they have a shimmer to them. And now I'm applying just a little bit of gloss over that. Um, and it's very long wearing. I won't need to reapply the lippy, just the gloss. And this is the finished look. Video. It was just fun to take a look at one of the trends that's really popular right now and see how we can adapt it to our own personal style. And again, another key point would be adapting it to your own personal style. So taking the elements of the clean girl aesthetic and making it your own. Like I don't have the center part, I have bangs. So sometimes I wear my bangs down. Sometimes I pull them back like this, but you know, I can't do every part of this trend, nor do I want to. I don't want to walk around looking like everyone else. So the key is to make it individually yours. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful weekend. Please say hello to me down in the comments and um, hit like on your way out. Subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you next time.